All right, so for this next uh, problem, we're going to figure out how many grams of a solute we need to uh, measure out to make a specific uh, solution. So I had to edit this a little bit, but it reads how many grams of calcium chloride are needed to make 100 milliliters of a 0.125 molar solution. Uh, in this problem, the key to uh, solving it is going to be using this molarity as a conversion factor. Okay, if you remember, molarity stands for moles per liter. And so anytime you see that capital M, you can always think of that as moles per liter. And so a 0.125 molar calcium chloride solution means that there are 0 0.125 moles of calcium chloride per liter of solution. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first find out how many moles of calcium chloride are needed in this 100 milliliter of solution by using this uh, molarity as a conversion factor. Once we know how many moles of calcium chloride are needed, we can calculate how many grams are needed by using the molar mass, which is also given in the problem. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do, however, is convert milliliters to liters, because I, as I said, I'm going to use this molarity as a conversion factor, and so we'll need to convert milliliters to liters. So of course, first thing I can do is write down my units for my final answer, which is grams of calcium chloride. And I wanna know how many grams I need to dissolve in that 100 milliliters of solution. And so that is the value in which I'm going to start with. So in this problem, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert milliliters to liters just using the metric equality. I'm going to convert liters to moles using my molarity as a conversion factor. And then I can convert moles into grams just as we've done many times before using the molar mass. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, first I need to convert milliliters to liters so I want milliliters on the bottom liters on top and in one liter there are a thousand milliliters. Milliliters will cancel out and so I've done my first conversion factor. Liters to moles alright so I'm going to use this as a conversion factor of course I could flip-flop this and say one liter per 1.125 moles of calcium chloride but it turns out that as it sits right there that's the actual conversion factor I need. I need one liter of solution on the bottom to cancel liters out and 0 0.125 moles of calcium chloride. Liters cancel out and so I've converted liters to moles using my molarity as a conversion factor. Last, I'm going to use the uh, molar mass as a conversion factor and of course uh, I want moles on the bottom so that the moles cancel out and there's 110.98 grams of calcium chloride in one mole. And so as you can see we use three conversion factors but the only unit I have left is grams of calcium chloride which is what I wanted for my final answer and so I can punch this into my calculator. Everything on top I multiply, everything on bottom I divide, so 100 divided by 1000 times 0.125 times 110.98 equals 1.38725 I have four significant figures here, three here, five here, so I have to cut this down to three so I need to dissolve 1.39 grams of calcium chloride in 100 milliliters of water or 100 milliliters of solution to make a 0.125 molar solution. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do one more problem like this, but this time we're gonna use the percent mass by volume uh, concentration and we'll use it as a conversion factor in a, much in the same um, fashion as we did with molarity. Okay, 
So this is asking for how many grams of glucose are needed to per 500 milliliters of a 8.0 mass per volume glucose solution. All right, so using percent as a conversion factor, whether it be percent by mass or percent by volume or mass per volume, it's gonna be the same scenario. I know that this is a per 100 based scenario. So an 8% solution uh, means that there is 8.0 grams, and I could use any um, unit of mass here, but uh, it's asking for grams, so that's where I'll start. Per, well that's 8.0 grams of glucose per 100 grams, or excuse me, milliliters of solution since it's uh, percent by volume grams per milliliter. Okay. So that's what 8% means, 8 parts in 100, so 8 grams of the solute glucose per 100 milliliters since it's mass per volume of solution. All right, and so now I can use this as a conversion factor. I want to know how many grams of glucose I need to make this solution. So grams of glucose are going to be my final answer, or units for my final answer. And then I want to know how many of those grams I need to dissolve in 500 milliliters. And we can see that this is going to be the exact conversion factor I need in this scenario. I want milliliters on bottom, grams of glucose on top, and in 100 milliliters there are 8.0 grams of glucose. Milliliters cancel out, leaving me with grams, and so I'm ready to throw this into my calculator. 500 times 8 divided by 100 equals 40. And this is with two significant figures, so that 40, um, the only way I can really show this in uh, two significant figures is with scientific notation, 4.0 times 10 to the 10 grams of glucose. Some uh, books or some uh, professors will have you write a decimal right after the 40 to indicate that it is also two significant figures.